Hi, today we're going to talk about MATLAB functions. Everything we've done up to this point was either typing in a single line in the command window and executing that single line of code, or we might type in more than one line of code into a file. That's called a script um, or a program. And so the script works fine and typing in one line at a time works fine. But today we're going to learn how to make our own functions. Now what is a function? We've already used quite a few functions. One function that we just used was DISP for display. And you can tell it's a function because there are parentheses after the name of the function. So there's parentheses and there's oftentimes things inside the parentheses. Those are arguments to the function. Um, we've also used fprintf, that's a function. We've used the cosine function, the sine function, the tangent function, and we can always tell that we're calling a function when we see those parentheses. A lot of the functions do take arguments. Um, inside the parentheses you'll have something, and a lot of the functions return values, like cosine will return a number that you're able to capture inside of a variable. And if you don't select a variable like I didn't the first time I called cosine, then the answer variable is used for you. So how would I create my own new function? So there's a lot of MATLAB functions, but sometimes you can't find the exact function that you want, so you'll create your own. Well, I've created over here a say hello function. And the way you create a function is you'll have a file and the name, the word function. Then if your function returns a value, like the cosine function returns a number and sine returns a number, then you would have a variable name right here and then an equal sign. In my first example, I'm going to say the function does not return anything. It just does the job of printing a greeting and that's it, and it doesn't return a number. And I'm also going to say that you don't need to pass anything in the parentheses. There's an empty spot between those parentheses when you call this function. And then it'll just print f print f hello there, it'll print that to the screen, and that's all the function does. Notice the name of the file. So the name of your file has to exactly match the name of your function in order for you to be able to call that function. So if this is saved in the same directory um, that's in my path, I can just call that function by typing the name of the function and then parentheses, nothing's needed in the parentheses for this function, and say hello executes. And I can execute that as many times as I want. Well, let's play around with a return value. Let's say I want this function to return a number. And in fact, it could even return a random number, but for now, I'm just going to say that the number it returns is going to be set to 7 in my program. So I will pick the variable um, num and say that that value at the end of my function is going to be set to 7. Let me save this file. So this time when I call say hello, there's a number that's returned, and because I didn't specify a variable name, it returned it in the ANS variable. If I wanted to capture it in a different variable, I could say y is equal to say hello. Excellent. So now I've returned a number, and we could switch this to a random number or, or something uh, like cosine and sine. They definitely, you know what number you need to return because that's the answer to doing the cosine or sine. Um, let's practice instead of returning a value which doesn't make as much sense for this function, let's practice passing in um, an argument. So if I want to pass in an argument, then I would have um, a variable name inside of the parentheses here with say hello. So let's say I'm going to pass in a name and I could use that name inside of my function and print out hello there and whatever the name is. So I'm going to save this and now when I call my function, I'm no longer returning a number, so I'll get rid of that, but I'm going to pass in Heather, and I run the function, and this word Heather is copied into the variable name name in my function, and it's used to go ahead and do the fprintf. And I can call that again with a different name, and it'll print hello there Sam. Um, hello there, Ivan. Um, we can also pass in more than one argument in parentheses. So let's say we want to pass in um, maybe x. 
Um, and x could be uh, another string or it could be a number. Let's say we want to pass in a number. And I'll pass in a string with a name and a number. And how should I use this in my function? Well, what if I wanted to create a for loop? For y is equal to 1 to x and every time um, we go through the loop we want to print that greeting. So I'll go ahead and save this, change to the function, and call it, and I've printed hello there five times. And I could change the name to Jenny, and I could change it to three times. So that's an example of a function that has two arguments that you would input into the function, and it doesn't have any return values. It does the work inside of the function. Um, one thing I'd like to point out before we stop the video is the purpose of having comments at the beginning of the function. So those comments will be used when I use help in MATLAB and I say, well, give me some help on the say hello function. Then it goes ahead and prints the comment that you have right at the beginning of your function, right under the first line of the function.